Yeah. And I'd like to do it again, but that's the thing. I Those fellas didn't hear Curtis like I did, and he's, like, the, my favorite living drummer. Yeah. Like, that I can talk to. Yeah, exactly. He's a good drummer. So I'd want him to do it, but they were they were like, no, I don't know. And I was thinking, well, it would have been nice to have them around for some of the Alex um, specials. Yeah. yeah. So the way out right now is for... Um, Welcome back to the show. Remember to like and subscribe, all that nonsense. And we're uh, talking about the way out. I'm here, Cody, with Paul, and uh, talking about the way out. So, you know, we've got our band. It's Tuesdays only. We've got, uh, you know, we've got content for the weekly that we're doing. And uh, now we're talking about maybe laying down tracks for Paul's songs because he knows them. He wants to record them all like kind of multi-track format. So, yeah, like one of the questions I had was like, how can we fit that into a night where we still get a chance to like practice the parts and play all together and then also be able to record, you know, and start laying down these tracks, you know, with the, the limitation we're under, which is one day a week, like oh, yeah. three to whatever, three to five hours for and a jam session. That's the thing I can show up earlier, but what you had said outside about setting up the loops on the drums is is that what you're getting to? Um, that that's the yeah that, that can be, be a, well that can be a part of it because the thing yeah. is the drums will be consistent and you could loop them whereas my guitar playing is more erratic but if we set to a metronome and put down like if we put the, the patterns yeah. to a metronome well we can we can loop them and then we can um, you know increase or decrease the tempo I love that By, oh, you uh, can do that yeah yeah you, you just speed up and slow down the song you put a time shifter on there cool yeah. Okay, so I don't think I can do that on my audacity. No, if you we can, can well, I don't know yeah, how. Yeah, I know how. Um, maybe, I know someday, maybe someday I'll show you how. No, nah, I don't want I don't want to. I no, can't it's too much work. I, I can't afford a DeLorean. Uh, I can't afford a DeLorean. Yeah, so we have a, yeah, we'll have a, you know, pre-selected bank of loops and patterns that are all your go-tos. And then from there, we'll pick it, lay it out, and it'll probably be time-consuming. It's probably going to take weeks to do. Actually, I have some rhythm guitar that you could put to loops, too. They're, but, they're yeah, really basic. Most of them, you and wheels have structure to most of them. Yeah. So the structure's already there. That's true. So we'll have to figure out, you know, where the um, the variance in the pattern falls. So that would be like a, you know, play the song and then you'll count along and count your part along or something. Or we could lay down, those, if there's vocals already, then we could lay down the guide vocals. But yeah, figuring out where the switches on the drums and stuff fall. Use that as your guide, play along to that. Yeah. Yeah. No, that, that sounds like a great that, idea. That's a, you know, that's that's where we'd start, and then you know, one of us would come come up with an idea. We put that down and start layering, start layering our ideas in. Keep what we like. Live that dream. It's kind of what we were saying. Is it's hard to be in a live band, and I, I don't want to be just the drummer in this band. I like to play bass. I like to play guitar. I like to play drums. Yeah, I'd love to hear that mandolin. Oh, I like to play mandolin too. I always forget about that. Oh yeah, I wrote a song for the man. Yeah, we got a big pile of horns over there. I don't, I don't know how to play them, but I totally. Learned. I can figure them out. I got a clarinet. Uh, yeah, those are awesome. I like the trumpet. Yeah. I, that one. That's I've cool. always wanted to have a horn section, but at that point, it's easier to like, you know, just talk to somebody who's actually good at it. We could just go just, pick just up. hire them in. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Do that as like a, you know, part of our special, special our special uh, trib tributations or something. I don't know. That ska that band I always talked about starting. Yeah. All I needed was that brass section. Well, that's a that's a different different concept entirely. We might have some ska. I like ska. I do too. It would be hard to, uh, I don't know. Is it the way out? Is the way out a ska band? No. I don't really think so. Depends are we, what kind are we of. In anything though. But it depends what kind of ska. I like the fast kind. No. I like the old stuff maybe. I could do some of that. Yeah. That's a good idea. <laughs> I'll put that down. And tons of Irish music. Yeah, that is more my speed. Yeah, we got some Irish songs lined up. You've See, got that one that's like, does it have a name yet? No, we've just been calling it the Irish Jig. Irish Jig. We'll get a name for it. We'll give it like a nice girl's name. Yeah, so that one's probably going to be... Yeah, I guess that's... Uh, you got a pattern for that, right? I know how to play it on the drums and the guitar. See, okay. th that was the problem with it, is by the time I taught someone else how to play it, you could have just recorded me playing both parts. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We drums could do that in drums and guitar. Yeah, that that could be the like the first evening. Lay down drums and guitar. But the bass line, Wheeler has been working on the bass line, but he's just working on speeding it up, and he's getting he's better at it each time, or like he's faster and more proficient. Okay, so we'd probably put you know, 
wheels down in the later sessions. Yeah. Lay down the bass last. Yeah, well, if we gave him this to study. Yeah, exactly. Once the drums and guitar, you can take something home and listen to it in your truck or whatever. Yeah. And then, yeah, we don't know what Sam Sam is doing. He, no, uh, Sam. He is... will he will let us know when he is ready, and he will hear something. He's in creative I, mode. I would imagine he would have seven or eight different tracks, and it would take us weeks. It, when so, he, he's already cranking out piano music yeah and it, it's gonna be yeah i need to that's something we got to do is i need recordings of it because i gotta listen to it yeah exactly you got to have the idea so that you can figure out your parts so that you're not wasting everybody's time when you come in here yeah it's either that or we jam it all together and write it all together which we could do well that's i think that's what we're gonna do at first with this yeah. new project but like all like... those other songs i am gonna bring the guides into you mm -hmm. because i can do them without you and bring them <laughs> yeah well you could um I, would, I do want to start with some drum loops, so yeah. we could do those anytime. Actually, I kind of want to make that a tutorial in a future episode. Let's do that next Wednesday. Next Wednesday? Well, we'll yeah, I guess we're kind of running on. short on time. Yeah. Can't do it this week. No, not this time, but next time. Next time. Uh, yeah, so we'll have S Sam. Sam will need like three or four weeks. I figure by... And this whole time, like, we can be listening along to the song and writing it. I, I figure by December we'll have three or so three to five pretty well finished tracks not finished but like three to five that are structured out oh yeah we've got because we have we have it already i'm just saying that the four of us working together yeah yeah that's true it's just um yeah my biggest concern is putting it into a, a recording format that's uh you know it's not a waste of our time no, yeah. right so we're not just you know we we could spend nine months the next nine months just jamming every night and get really like we get okay we get really proficient at our instruments and stuff now a bunch of these but we could we could take half that time we spent jamming and put it towards you know tracking laying down the tracks as as we kind of flesh them out and, and a bunch and of then we'll have something at least to show for it and that's more everyone's speed because like, yeah the other option is to yeah spend spend a few months getting good and just live stream everything which i don't anybody, know there's there's probably a way we can do both but uh anybody, yeah we'll see if anybody wants that, tell Cody. Yeah, we'll do it. Put, put that in the comments in the bottom of the page. Live stream. Yes. No. Live stream. Yes. No. Probably nobody made it this far in this Regu episode. Regular oh, stream. No, nobody watches these. I watch them. It's funny because there's we only like one in two views, and if there's two views, it means that you and I watched it. Yeah, I don't even watch the watch the videos for long enough. I don't review them. I just slap them up there. I mean, I've already done all the post-production. <laughs> okay, that's true. You've seen them. I've before. seen them already. I, I don't have, need to watch them on YouTube. As I have well. to go watch them. I do like YouTube. to comment in the comment section when I can. So for like <laughs> today's episode, and we're uh, it's like, is the you know, have you ever talked with your band about pre-production? Like, what would it take to make your album? Right. Oh. In terms of like, yeah, commitment from band members. Like, we know we're gonna need like, and how much time do you have to do it? How much time like do you want to have this thing ready? For a certain time like we're not on a deadline so it's pretty pretty much could take seven years to make this album for all i know it's not none of us are that patient yeah but you kind of said you wanted to have three or four tracks in by the winter or something or... good ones three to five that are actually like at the point where we're starting to think about mastering like i'm talking yeah i could see us maybe this is by like november right november december yeah november so if it's august now it's september now it yeah. gives us two months and, and we could probably on. have that to the point where we're just like polishing up vocals by then at the once a week kind of session thing with half our time jamming and half our time like doing focused focused writing and stuff like a lot of them are 60 percent like they're, yeah most they're of them are 60 percent already but then once we lay down tracks we're going to hear ideas for new parts and new instruments and stuff i need vocals or maybe we'll them. need to bring in bring in a player or two or something like that and that might come but yeah we'll too. definitely get to like you know all editing and mixing done yeah and then uh yeah be moving towards having a, a full run of songs for a three track kind of special edition or something i don't know yeah three to five that, that's why i said i know five is the number i'm thinking but i said three in case we run into like yeah a huge but explosion. sam but sam is also going to have a few wheels also probably has a few ideas should have done four then. I have one or two, you... but they're already ready, so we they just need you know some some input from you guys. Should have did four, and we should have just each brought forth the one that we wanted to do the most, because Wheels has that one that he's working on. Yeah, that's a good idea. And I have that one that I want to do. Sam has that one that he's got half written out. Well, no, it's not half written out; it's written. So if we bring forward four, and then you bring forward one, then we can actually it's a good little showcase yeah. of what everybody wanted to bring back to the group. Yeah. So let's say that's twelve weeks. 
12 weeks divided by four is uh, three. So we'd each get three sessions on our song and we'd have to lay down all our ideas or like uh, the, ba uh, the base structure kind of outline yeah. to each of those in three sessions, three sessions a piece. Sounds manageable. I think it sounds could. easily doable. We already know our songs. Yeah, that's, there's no like way. our song ideas. We already know how they go. Yeah, that's right. You're not going to run into a thing where like, how does that go? That's yeah. what I was talking about there. It's 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 songs that we played hundreds of times before. Yeah, plus Just you got the recorded. the Forever War, which is uh, already is finished. finished it's ready to go. It's You've it's been it. yeah, yeah. It's never been put out though. We're kind of waiting for the. Well, I mean, I was just waiting for the the right moment, you know. Is that soon? Now that you've announced that it's done and it's mastered, is that soon? Um, hopefully it's with this grouping for the third the third grouping. Oh, that's a good idea. Right? Because we'll have that one. And I have, like, Bring It On Home, which mm -hmm. you guys don't know yet, but I'll teach it to you. No. That one. Isn't that one's... that the one I played a bit with? Levente? No, we were about... Yeah, we played it with Levente. Okay. But, yeah, it's a, it's a song and it doesn't have a place yet, but it kind of feels like it belongs to the layout. Nice. Yeah. I love when that happens. Yeah, it's good. I mean, yeah, just get some break pattern in there, some rock pattern, some... No, no, you said them both. Yep. That's the ones I know. Get some piano, get some horns. <laughs> it still needs a horn section. That's going to be tough. We, we know a horn player, though. Yeah, we know a horn player. It's just a matter of wrangling them, yeah. which that's never easy. Not with a musician. Nope. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, Yeah, that's... okay, so that's one song three sessions i think it can be done that's the thing is as like, the fellas were not well last time yeah so you, you're gonna you're gonna find the practices are between two to four hours so yeah that's 12 man hours to put it if you can't put together a song that you know in 12 hours dude we're not we lose that title of self yeah professional yeah well especially <laughs> since like i'm already here everything's set up like all we you, have to you, do all yeah. we have to do is sit or sit at our instruments and play it yeah that's play exactly it without making right. too many mistakes I better go home and practice. Yeah. I feel like this is a good point that I got to, now that I've talked. And this all is big, the, yeah, this is the part where you, where we have to buckle down and do the work you, and, you, you know, <laughs> practice up our parts, learn each other's songs. It's, you, you know, it's more than it sounds like. It's not just, oh, dude, Jimmy jamming over beers. Well, we can probably fit in some of that. Yeah. Oh, probably some <laughs> of that. Fifth I mean, practice. yeah, but that's part of the plan is that <laughs> we can take half the time and play all together and, you know, practice getting good at that. And then we can take the other half to, to split it up to do you know focus on our own instrument and our own playing and stuff that's true self-practice is key but um most of us i'd say everybody in this group is self-disciplined yeah I, to I a know. point but we're all kind of doing our own thing so i'm going home to practice right well, now i'm going down to practice yeah i'm yeah i always play the songs you always I mean, practice you, once, once we start doing it I'm, it's natural to me to just want to play those songs because those are the ones we're working on yeah I'll spend yeah it's gonna be all it's not like you're not gonna improve as a musician by learning this song over this song yeah or writing a new song well, there's I, time for that too but uh yeah. we're all excited daily to practice sessions that is important well you should play every day if you're a musician yeah if you're if you're a, you know somebody who really loves it and away you go yeah you, should, you really shouldn't be like ah, i didn't practice for a week that's probably not a good uh, thing to say yeah it's so easy to fall into that though it is i mean yeah and then we should talk about that in a future episode too we'll probably we be we'll probably practice? be cut out by now but um yeah but just like we never really asked why is it so hard to stay to the regiment or oh. like to to like you know practice every day or like motivation and goal setting see yeah. right now you're all i'm like, sure we did talk about it but we should talk about it again well that's the the quick one of it the reason i want to practice now is because i have some i have these goals to look forward to yeah uh, these projects to finish I, i'll stop you want to cut the episode